Right, let me give you a quick uh, overview of this drill press table I just finished making. Yeah, the fence I have on there is a SAE fence, an aluminum extrusion. It's a used piece I have had. So it's inch and a half by three, and it's a 56 inches long. And you can see that it can be located just about anywhere you want. I'll show you later why that can happen. Uh, the table itself is 25 deep by 34 and a half inches wide. Um, these extrusions in the on the two sides here are they're metric. They're 16 millimeter by uh, 40, and uh, they have the two grooves here that you can detach just about anything you want to. These festool clamps work well here. So if you're, you're so inclined that you want to hold your work this way, and that they can be clamped on both ends here. Like I said, you've got this, then you've got this little extension table. If your work is is uh, too long, that's just held in place with uh, with this Bessie quick clamp. You could also use a Festool clamp there, or you could even drill some holes and and use uh, the countersink bolts and T nuts to hold it in place there as well. The um, the other thing I guess I want to run by here is. Um, if, you're, if you need to micro adjust, I've got a couple of micro adjusters that I've made that can be butted up against the back of the fence. If this were the back, you drop these in. Loosen that one up a little bit. There. And then you can micro adjust your fence, push it forward or back, whichever way you want to go. I got uh, two of those made, one for each side. Um, like I mentioned before, you got your stops that can be moved to give you a repeatable position. Um, replaceable inserts. This one gets chewed up too bad. Drop in another one. And then these, you can just keep making these. These are five by five. Nice flush fit there. Um, it's easy on, easy off. I've got, uh, I've got a couple knobs underneath here with some steel washers that give me a wedge fit to hold my table. So if I need to drill metal, I can just pull this whole thing off, set it to the side and drill metal and then be right back in business after I clean everything up, slide this back into position. So uh, these uh, extrusions, I'll show you this part here. table slotted here. If I take this one out. These, these can be repositioned anywhere along the table. So you can you can uh, give yourself extra support out here if you're working with wide um, wide pieces or slide them back out of the way. Use them to hold your fence. There you go. You're just you're back in business. Um, I really like it. I'm still discovering new ways to use it. Let me give you a quick tour of the of the undercarriage here to show you what I'm just talking about. So. These are the replaceable inserts. They're just held in place here along the front. So I've got three extras ready to go. 
and you can see under here what I was talking about when you the table is slotted and that gives you the ability when you loosen these knobs I have to actually take this one out because it's up against the stop there but then you're able to, to uh, slide your extrusion forward uh, these are the locking knobs I was talking about it's just a, a knob here with the with a big steel flat washer and it, I've got it a, a bit cockeyed so this is a little shallow this is not as thick as my top so it gives me that wedge effect so when I tighten this up it's not going anywhere um, these this extra thickness here gives me the ability to make the extrusion nice and flush to the top and uh, also acts as a a guide or recess is formed to uh, butt, butt it up against my cast iron top so lots of flexibility with this thing and uh, like I said there's there's many things that I've, I haven't even figured out yet. I drilled these through holes here so that you can see the T-nut from the bottom when you're when you're threading this when you're threading this knob so you can make sure you're lined up there and you'll see that explained later in the other videos. But you got these nice tracks here to for holding your your fence can be as long as your as you want because you're you're gripping it in um, with the uh, Festo quick clamp and uh, you can reposition it anywhere anywhere you want east and west or north and south you know you're you can do anything you want as far as that goes so uh, let's get to it I'll show you how I made this thing Thanks.